and away they go. And they got away to a neat start. El Matana and Charles Dickens will drop in and be the last two. At my command, first one to break, pushed by Fiorelli. Is Fiorelli quick enough to get to the front? He just about lands there. At my command, a second. Royal Aussie free striding at the outside is third. See it again, has got a nice place. Kept company by Princess Keller. They share fourth. Then comes Rascalian against the rail. Then came El Matana. He's won from last. And Charles Dickens at the back of the field. Must be racing nearly 10 lengths off the leader, but he's got a pace to aim at. And it's Royal Aussie, who's now been given his head. He's been allowed clear of Fiorelli, was there to make pace, but won't match Royal Aussie and races three parts of a length away in second. Then comes at my command in third. Princess Kala clears see it again, see it again in the fence in fifth. Then came El Matana and Rascalian. They the next two with Charles Dickens at the end of the field, but a little bit more compact as they take the angle for home in the World Sports Betting Greenpoint Stakes. Royal Aussie guards them in. Fire Alley's done his bit. Then in third place we find Princess Kala swings for home no more than two lengths off the leader. At my command up the inside, see it again in between horses and Charles Dickens aims towards the outside with El Matana trying to match him. Rascalian dropped out to the back of the field. Charles Dickens in a matter of strides went from last to nearly first. Second place is Princess Keller and see it again. Here the three that we came to see but see it again came into the lead. He has Charles Dickens on the ropes then comes Princess Keller and at my command but what a performance from see it again. That is out of the top draw. What a prep. See it again is beaten at my command. Charles Dickens ran third and Princess Keller was fourth. That's someone. Look at see it again. The white sleeves and the cyclamen cap aimed towards the middle of runners. And just when Charles Dickens and Princess Keller had all the best intentions for meeting see it again and, and obviously trying to knuckle her out of it, knuckle him out of it rather, see it again hands and heels. Well, what's his price going to be in the world sports winning Cape Met after this? Whatever he was, that price is gone. Snapped up all over. Number two, see it again with an epic win in the world sports winning Greenpoint Stakes. Wow. Thank you very much, MJ. Great to get that feedback on Charles Dickens. And we've got the blonde bomber with us, Pierre Stryker Stradham. Pierre, great to see you in the Western Cape. Obviously, a horse that's given you, I'm going to say, another life. Because um, just a couple of months ago, we are looking to hang up the boots, and you found yourself with See It Again. You must be super impressive with his performance today. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Um, just to start off with, thank you very much to Mace again and to Mr. Nick Johnson. Uh, I think everyone knows that I'm still riding because of this horse. Um, uh, and it's how lucky a person can be. I was supposed to ride a horse in the derby last year and my ride got scratched and this horse became available and it just keeps you going for a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I thought today was 1600, a bit short for him in the, in the prep run. Um, but uh, he jumped out beautiful, I had a lovely position and uh, when uh, the horses in front of me actually were going too slow for me, I had to say to him, keep up the pace. And uh, I wanted to look after him um, so he can come on for his next run. So I sat a bit longer and I saw Charles Dickens make a move. I thought, okay, well, he's probably going to win and I'm going to run second. But as soon as I moved into the gap, he quickened up uh, better than Charles Dickens and just like it was within strides, he hit the front quite easily. So very impressed. He's now become a racehorse. Uh, before he's like a chubby little guy. And I said last time when I rode him in that uh, pinnacle plate in Durban, all of a sudden, he looks like he's trimmed down to a racehorse, and today you can see it once again. He's, uh, he's matured now. Yeah, well, Strike, you have a look at him and the way he's been presented at the races today. You can see he's really furnished into a proper horse. You'll be licking your lips. Obviously, all systems go. I'm not sure what the plan is going forward. I imagine the King's Plate leading into the Met, uh, but you would imagine that he's the horse now to beat in the Met. It definitely looks like it. Uh, like I said, this is supposed to be more of a, a leader brace to the King's Plate and then the Met. Uh, the fact that he won a mile uh, in the way he beat him today, he's got to be the horse they have to beat in the King's Plate, and after the 2000 of the Met, is even better for him. So uh, things are looking good. Pierre, you're going to get a bottle of champagne from Laura Moran, courtesy of World Sports Betting, and a trophy. Well done. Thank you, Laura Moran. Well done, Strux. Thank you so much. The Blonde Bomber in the Western Cape. It's great to see him. He's got his fans waiting behind the camera. I'm going to get you back to Vicky. She'll be standing by with Mr. Roberts. Congratulations, sir. Well done to Mr. Nick Johnson as well. 
Thank you very much, uh, Brandon. Also, lovely feedback from Pierre Stratum saying that he's just furnishing as a horse. It's number two. See it again. He's the son of twice over and uh, well done to Drock and Sandstad, Nick Johnson, and most importantly, or equally so, Michael Roberts with me. Well done for the win. Thank you, Nicky. Last time we were on the stage, it was the Derby win. Yes, that's correct. That's the last time I was here. You know, if I may, uh, I just say I'm super impressed um, what they've done to the Kenilworth race course. The, you know, the, I've been here coming here since the 70s, but um, it's a fantastic transformation. Well done. Uh, to come back to the source, yes, uh, I could see after the July, we gave him a three months break. He did nothing. Uh, I spoke to uh, Nick about him uh, and he think we should we send him away. I said, no, you know, he's entire. I want to keep him, you know, you know, um, in the yard. And he agreed with me and he, we just trotted him and he came back and he must have put the best part of 30 to 40 kgs. And uh, before he came down here, and, uh, obviously my good friend, Paddy. Thank you, Paddy. And he, um, you know, I thought we we got to give him a run before he comes down here, just to tighten him up. And just in case, you know, you know, the bad trip. Unfortunately, uh, fortunately enough, he had a fantastic trip down here. He arrived here. Uh, Nick and myself came back uh, down here last week to look at him. And he looked magnificent. I mean, uh, and, you know, I've been down here a few days and I must say everything went to clockwork. Not like this was our target at all. We, you know, uh, Nick and myself, we discussed it and said, listen here, if he wins this, it's going to be a big bonus. Obviously, the King's Plate and the Met, you know, that'd be the cherry on top. And a big thank you to Nick for my support and to Dragonstein who bred him. It's just been absolutely fantastic and my team. Well done. It's uh, most certainly a team effort, but well done to you for a brilliant one. Yes, Mickey, we're, we're lucky. We've got good people working for us, and not just in KZN in and here as well. Well done for the win. Thank you, and, and thank you to the sponsors as well. Yes, World Sports Betting. I'm going to speak to Hilton. He's going to hand over your trophy. Sorry, Hilton, if you don't mind handing that over. And then uh, if I can ask you gentlemen to both look at the cameras for the photo opportunity. There you go, with regards to... The, uh, the win, the World Sports Betting Green Point Stakes, great to event over the 1600 metres. And then, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this from you. If you can accept the trophy on behalf of, of uh, Nick Johnson. Nick, I'm sure you're watching. Lovely win, and as uh, Michael Roberts says, it's just another prep run. And then you can put this down behind you. I'm not going to try to take it with one hand. <laughs> and then Justin Vermark's going to come across um, and accept that. That's a Raiders check. So well done to Mr. Michael Roberts' uh, Raiders check in relation to uh, Cape Racing. So thank you very much. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Hilton Hassan will be, uh, well, he handed over the trophies. So thank you very much to him from World Sports Betting. Also to mention that both the trainer and the owner receive a 3,000 Rand World Sports Betting voucher. So uh, thank you very much to them. Number two, see it again. Son of Twasover most certainly impressed us today. And uh, also, as Michael Roberts said, he's got a team behind him and that's what makes the success all worthwhile. Speaking about his team, the groom who looked after number two seat again will be interviewed uh, by Cabello. Thank you very much, Vicky, and thank you very much, Brandon, and to the super commentary of Alistair Cohen. Where are sports betting Greenpoint stakes? See it again. Tata, Daniel, a winning groom. This is for the Nobel Come back to the you are our star grooms, and it's presented by Kaya Stables. You just won 5,000 rands. Hey, don't know about how to Kaya Stables are in Pons again. If in the last year I've been Pons, I don't know about how to manage Pons again. Thank you very much. All the best in Vizel in Tlant. I'm going to go to the That was Daniel, a man who's looking after. See it again. Back to Alistair Cohen with the replace.